went to Best Buy and I have a haul for y'all. Um, this is a new camera I'm experimenting with. It's the Canon M50. I don't know how I feel about it. it it's supposed to be super wide angle, but tell me if I'm going crazy. It just looks like a regular camera. And I got this Rode mic, so I'm gonna quickly unbox it, pop it on, and let you guys know there's a difference in the audio quality. I'm at birthday dinner. Oh, hello, Nick. Happy birthday to you. Is there anything urgent? Uh, not really, but I just got your camera, and I was just wondering if you have the 11 millimeter lens or 15 millimeter lens. 11. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, so this lens that Haley uses is $350, so... This is gonna be my Christmas gift. It's gonna be okay. Hey guys, welcome to my vlogs. It's literally 8.30 p.m. again. I always vlog at night. I swear to God, today I had a busy day filming a YouTube video experiment. I just got my brand new lens for this camera. If you guys didn't know, like two days ago, I got this bad boy. But the unfortunate thing is, it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but this lens is very zoomed in on my face. I prefer having a wider vision. So we're gonna swap and open this bad boy. Okay, so I just got the Canon 11 to 22 millimeter lens. It's so popular for like vloggers, like my life as Ava has it, Haley has this lens. I literally got it because of them too. So I'm gonna be an ultimate vlogger with this lens, okay? I know a lot of you guys are gonna watch this video and you're like, Jay, the quality is fine, but trust me, you're gonna see in three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the lens on. I know it looks not that different. You're gonna like scream at me for getting this new lens, but I'm telling you, it's so much more wide. I'm very happy with it. This makes me very happy. Good morning, everybody. I am shooting on my brand new lens. It's so wide. You can see all my messes in the back of the video. I even installed a color grade through the, I don't know if you see the colors are different. It's so cold, guys. Ah. I just had a meeting for PBJ, um, my startup. Um, we're working on some fun stuff for 2020, but I lost my phone. Oh my god! How did I? How did I not? Guys, I literally did not bring my phone. How did I do that? Oh, right, guys, I'm at the gym and I love this camera so much. Check out this angle. Like I'm not even putting my hand so far out, and you can see everything. <sighs> I've never been so happy in my life. Okay, I'm gonna work out now. Every day, but this leg curl is extremely difficult. Oh my goodness! I don't typically check my phone when I work out, but Ashley Wicka, which is an influencer for one of my companies, just texted me her recipe guide. Um, it's so cute. I have to like show you guys, but basically, we're creating a food subscription box with the ultimate kit to starting a healthy meal. Um, and she has like these recipes that come with it, and it's literally. So cute. Um, so I'm gonna text her that this is amazing. I'm almost done. I'm gonna do one last thing at the gym, which is do a three minute plank. I've done this before. I try myself to like set records every single time, but I haven't hit my three minute mark in like a week. So <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Let's try, let's try. You guys are gonna keep me accountable. Do not let me flop. Three, two, and start. Hi, can I get a butter croissant warmed up, please? Reduced uh, fat turkey bacon cheddar sandwich. A tall matcha green tea latte with coconut milk, extra shaken. How's your day going? Good, how about you? Good, I'm just vlogging for my YouTube. For your YouTube? Yeah. Your YouTube channel? Yes. Momina. This is Momina. Hi. The nicest Starbucks person ever. <laughs> Thank you. I meet a lot of you guys actually like in public sometimes and a lot of you want to start YouTube channels, but you have it. So if you guys are in the place where you wanted to start a YouTube channel, but you feel like you can't, um, my best advice is just to recreate videos that you like. If you like a video that you watched 
save it and make it into your own taste. Like you don't have to strategize how to start a YouTube channel, just recreate videos that you like. A lot of people ask like, what's the strategy? In the beginning, you just need to start. You just do it, you know what I mean? So, cheers. Dad, I have a philosophy. Uh, this is really stupid. But do you know that one restaurant in the corner that always keeps failing? The cursed restaurant. Remember the cursed restaurant? There's no way that this is just by accident. Like, it's a cursed restaurant. My philosophy is someone, like, my question is like, why is it year after year they keep failing? I think either someone's an idiot and doesn't get the message of market fit, or two, like the tenant or the owner of the space is friends with someone. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, like I have no idea. What, so what I can tell you this: there's somebody there keep on making the same mistake yes, over and over that's again. That's my question. And who so is stupid. that person? Either the buyer or the seller. We don't know. Like, who is that stupid? My feeling is the seller. Hmm? The the guy that owned the rest the the guy that owned the building is the problem. Really? Okay. Year like year after year, same mistake. Because so it could be like just for social proof. Like you know how mattress firm is not act like there's no way they're selling mattresses. Maybe it's just a statement that like hey. There's some business owner that decided that this is they want to do multiculture oh. and they have to follow this business rules. Oh, so I see. So. That is true. Because you know what? There's a muchas gracias. Because there's a muchas gracias. There's also Vietnamese restaurant. Right. Like, oh, how many they have percent to make quota. Asia, how many percent? So it isn't that about profitability. Hibernation database. <laughs> so you can have your contacts anytime. <laughs> Dude, you'll be fine when the algorithm is just gone. You're just going to be chilling. <laughs> Well, Graham test as an A, I hate having YouTube be the controlling over me. Yeah. Like, I have to post in order to make revenue. All right, guys, so I just had a meeting. I'm having a mini panic attack, and I don't know why, because I feel very, very happy in my business, but I'm kind of freaking my shit out. So I'm going to work out, because that's what I do when I'm stressed. Like, I just need to move. It's like really bad right now i think i don't know i'm kind of freaking out i just stress ate another incredible sandwich so i know i'm really stressed if i do that like <laughs> if i'm stress eating you you know there's something wrong all right guys i just walked around for like 10 minutes and did a three minute plank and just like that bit of physical activity made me feel so much better um yeah so if you guys ever have like anxiety attacks you can literally just get rid of it or at least feel a lot better by taking physical action because anxiety is physical so you need to treat it in a physical way but we have this tool with the text message back oh this is what the back end kind of looks like good morning everybody it's currently tuesday it's gonna be a lot more chill than yesterday if you guys saw i literally almost had a panic attack she's up to calm down if i close my eyes and focus on my own mind for a while then it doesn't matter this love's all i remember and if it's only for the night then that would be all right wow okay we're back a lot better looking hopefully um i just watched actually an interview by emma chamberlain and abc news and it really stuck out to me I wanted to share my reaction. The reporter asked her, like, what do you want to do in 10 years? And I was expecting, like, an answer, which is, like, world domination or some sort of, like, money-oriented goal. 10 years from now, I'm thinking babies. I'm thinking cute, cute boyfriend, husband. Mm -hmm. I mean, like... But Emma responds with happy. Kind of just, like, l happy. And it got me thinking, which is, if you had everything in the world why would you want anything more right like i almost feel like i i want to achieve certain things and i want to have certain items in my life like money or success but i realize the more you want those things the minute you get them you're gonna be unhappy and the true happiness is the pursuit of it the journey and i don't know where i got that connection but it just struck out to me so hard because like i think so many people want to be like emma i heard her say that she just wants to be happy in 10 years it makes me realize how thankful I am right now that I'm not having everything. There's something about having everything that's just so lonely and kind of unfulfilling if you didn't enjoy the process of getting there, right? The struggle, the 
the journey of not actually getting your goal is the best part because you learn and you feel a sense of fulfillment. Okay, so if someone were to ask me what my goal in 10 years, it would be world domination. <laughs> but like, in truthfulness, it's all about the people. And I want to help as many people, so. He's up to calm down. If I close my eyes and focus on my own mind for a while, then it doesn't matter. This love's all I remember. And if it's only for the night. She's been vlogging for eight years. She has a following. Hey guys, I'm here with Paulina, who works here too. Oh yes, what's her name? Marissa. Shout out to Marissa! Alright guys, so just came back from hanging out with Donovan. It's like 11pm. I've been up for quite a bit. So yeah, had a fun day. Was able to actually relax. Um, I know it's like holiday time, so maybe I should hang out with my friends. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. For the